Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to each and every one of you. From our family to yours, the Stewart family wishes you a blessed Christmas season. And we're hoping that this holiday season will be a tremendous blessing to you and your family. That this will be the season that will catapult your family into the family that you want it to be. Again, we say unto you, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a Happy, happy Holidays. holidays. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to the Words to Empower broadcast with Pastor Frank and Lady Jacqueline. We're so glad you joined us on today, and we have a treat for you today. We have a special guest on today, Dr. Rhonda Maddox. She is a psychiatrist. Um, we want to welcome her to the show. Um, we're going to be talking about defeating the spirit of heaviness. Um, this time of year, we have a lot of people who are heavy-hearted, yes. who go through a lot of things, and because the holidays and anniversaries and just the ending of a year... Yes. And adding on to that winter season, it helps um, us to be able to understand why people feel the way they feel, why they do the things they do, why they withdraw, and all the kind of things that happen this time of year. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, the prophet Isaiah prophesies about when the Lord comes and some of the things he's coming to do. And I want to read that passage of scripture um, for you. It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to um, heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prison doors. Um, to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, and to comfort all who mourn. Yes. I kind of want to stop right there before we read any further. Some of the things that the Lord said He's come to do is to, He's come to heal yes. the brokenhearted, and He's come to comfort those who mourn. So, um, Dr. Maddox, can you kind of give us a, a overview of some of the things um, that bring people to a point of depression or, or a spirit of heaviness yeah. um, this time of year? That's a great question. During this time of year, we sing songs like, we say things like Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas or mm -hmm. Joy to the World. Yes. But if you've lost a loved one, if someone has gone to jail, if you're recently divorced, if your children have moved out, then you may not get to set to to celebrate the holidays like you ordinarily did. Yes. So when you hear people at work saying, oh, I'm going home for the holidays, also know that that can mean different things. When I say I'm going home for the holidays, that means I'm going to eat a lot, we're going to have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. But when some people go home for the holidays, there's sibling rivalry, their parents fighting, they're different things. So the holidays bring about different recollections of memories past mm -hmm. and also causes you sometimes to, to just reminisce on people that you've lost. Right. So understanding that even though you may not feel some of the things that someone else is feeling, it's good to understand that everyone um, is experiencing or having their very own experience yes. based on life and what they have gone through. And so Absolutely. Um, if I've, you've named some things, if I've lost a loved one or if I've gone through a separation or a divorce or if I, my children are grown and gone and yes. I have an empty nest now yes. and um, it's quiet in the house and um, it's, I've gone through an illness right. or, or a prolonged illness, Absolutely. Um, those things can um, weigh on my heart and weigh on my mind and my spirit. And so the Lord understood that we're created like that. Right. And so when the spirit of heaviness comes, he doesn't want that to stay with us. He, he's got an answer for us. He's got a cure. He's got a remedy. Absolutely. He's got the medicine Absolutely. Um, and a medication for that spirit of heaviness. But just to know that that spirit of heaviness is not always easy. 
to get off of you or it's not Absolutely. always um, a quick fix. Like we just say, get over it. You right. know, you sh- your mom died five years ago. You should be over it by now. You Absolutely. know, um, that's what we do. <laughs> you know, we, we say things not understanding that um, people need assistance. They need help sometimes. Mm-hmm. Can you give us some things on what we can do to assist people or to help people to get through that hard time of depression or going um, through that that trial or that time of season where um, they just can't shake it? Right. The first thing I would say is is to get an understanding because as I started out saying, sometimes when I say I'm going home for the holidays, that that brings up different visions and different images for me than when you say it. So you want to inquire more and talk to them more so you can hear about who they are and what those images are that they're hearing. The other piece is, as you were talking about the Spirit of the Lord being upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty. As I listened to that, that sounded like what a mental health provider does as well. Mm -hmm. That sounded like what a psychiatrist does as well. As we are, are going through... The first thing would be just to have a tender heart and a less judgmental spirit to seek to get to know more of what's going on and then realize that my scope of expertise may not be in this area. Now, if it's something simple, I say simple, if it's something kind of run of the mill, but understand that sometimes what is causing what it looks like is causing depression. That may be the fruit of it, but it's not the root of it. Okay, And so when we get to the root of it, it's not what what we thought it was, right, you know? Right. And that's why talking is so important so that you can get to understand it. You know, we may be dealing with a boyfriend's rejection and not realize the connection to my father abandoned me. Nobody mm-hmm. loves me. And if that's the way we feel, you saying let's go shopping or put some lipstick on is not going to do it. That did it for you, mm-hmm. but it didn't. It might not do it for this person. Right. The other piece is <laughs> you talked about the, the health issues. If I have a thyroid disorder, if I have diabetes that's uncontrolled, that will look just like depression. Mm-hmm. And so as we're talking about a spirit of depression, sometimes if I say a spirit of depression, then I'm looking at one way to handle it. And I'm looking at, I'm going to, you just pray that away. But if it's depression, but it's actually caused by a thyroid disorder, or it's caused by some medicines that I'm on that contribute to depression, then that's not going to to do the trick, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think what we find now is this time of year and I I see a change in society in general. Um, when we were growing up and we could be content to play with, you know, our friends outside. We didn't have to have all of the electronics and yes. we didn't have to have the most expensive gifts. I think if we had one bicycle in the neighborhood, we just took turns riding right. it. You know, we, we ran down the hill. We made our own games up. You know, we ran around the house. We did things outside and exercise helps um, you to do you know, it helps the body. Absolutely. Um, eating right yes. this time of year. You know, we have what we call comfort foods. Yes. <laughs> I think we all love them. The comfort Ice foods. Ice cream, <laughs> chocolate cake, the, bread. The, <laughs> lots of cheesy yes. um, desserts. I mean, you know, Pizza. And, you know, soups and, yes. you know, things with lots of calories. And so we all love that. And this is the holiday season. I'm not knocking any of that. Some Let's things, knock it though. <laughs> <laughs> some things have to be done in moderation um, and enjoyed in moderation. So that you can still enjoy it after you've eaten it. But just taking care of your physical health yes. during this time of year, I think, is important because it gets cold outside. And if you're used to exercising or going to the gym or something, you might just want to stay in and mm-hmm. bundle up. Mm-hmm. You, you know, we, we get kind of slower yes. um, with taking care of the physical needs that we have. And we're mind, body, soul and spirit. And the Lord wants us to take care of these temples, which encompasses our mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health. And so when the Lord says we can defeat this spirit of heaviness, we've got to come with all of our guns. We've got to come, you know, with every area of our well-being being taken care of. Absolutely. I'm really glad you brought that up. As I was on my way here, I was having a conversation with a patient and I was telling her, I really want you to adhere more to the Mediterranean diet, olive oil, mm-hmm. fish, 
those kinds of things, yeah. green stuff, mm -hmm. to adhere more towards that because that re the, the fish and omega-3 fatty acids really help us a lot. Yes. Drinking more water and getting oh, yeah. away from the, the teas and the sodas and the diet sodas, there are studies that show those people who, are, who eat fewer carbs, they actually do better. Mm -hmm. in terms of their, their mood, in terms of their anxiety, in terms of their concentration. So a higher protein, lower carb. And I'm not talking ketogenic diet, which is the craze of the day, but protein, I'm thinking, you know, meat and your vegetables and, and that kind of stuff and staying away from or cutting back on your pastas and your mm -hmm. cereal and your processed foods. If you think about it, when you were young, and we didn't have lots of McDonald's and all of that. That was a special mm -hmm. treat. It mm -hmm. wasn't a daily thing. Right. They were right. eating beans and greens and, 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 and those kinds of things. And so that, that's what your body craves. There, it wasn't organic then. It was just eating what we made, you know, what we grew on and, the farm. And, and, and I think some of us, you know, didn't realize it was organic. Right. Because we, we grew it or we had some, someone who we knew grew it and everyone in the neighborhood got some greens or some beans, right. beans or some potatoes, some corn. I remember the truck coming through the neighborhood, yes, you know. Absolutely. So we, we got things then that um, in our diet that our, our children and the next generation, our grandchildren are missing. Stay tuned for these messages and we'll be right back. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. We also got vitamin sunshine. So when I was little, people would tell me, go outside and play. That, that, that was, that's what we did. We mm -hmm. went outside and played. Mm -hmm. And so we would go outside and we'd run and we'd go in the woods and we'd climb trees. And, and now we're very anxious about sending our kids outside to play without being out there with them. And so mm -hmm. my daughter, if I bought her, if I could buy her a gift... And, she, and when she was two or three, she'd be playing with the boxes and, and she'd pull out pans and she'd, you know, as they watch more TV and they see the commercials that, and they go to school and they start craving the other stuff. And, and, and we have to definitely be aware of what they see on social media that can yeah. contribute. So we're dealing with defeating the spirit of heaviness and I hope you're enjoying some of the comments from Dr. Maddox and um, what the word of God declares. Um, in Isaiah chapter 61, the Lord came to heal the brokenhearted and he came to comfort all who mourn. So as we dive into this holiday season, know that you are not alone. We're praying for you and God has a word for you. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 PM. For more information, go to AxeMinistriesOnline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. 
I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Oh, I disrespected my parents at, at home, sir. I've been more of a leader than a follower. I've been trying to help others to stay on the right track. Doing good is not really as hard as you think it is. The Arkansas Youth Challenge is enrolling for young people 16 to 18 years old. If you're having trouble in school or at home, call 1-800-814-8453. We support Second Chances. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We want to wish you happy holidays during this time of the year. Pastor Stewart and I'm Lady Jackie Stewart and we want to just say happy holidays to each and every one of you. We know this can be a difficult season and a difficult time of the year for many of you, but we want you to know God's blessing you and he's pr and we're praying for you and that we have you covered in the name of Jesus that this will be a very blessed, prosperous and happy holiday for each and every one of you. We hope this holiday season will be a very special holiday season and a time that you not only unwrap gifts and be with families, but also that you unwrap that very special gift God gave to you, and that is you yourself. So for First Lady Stewart and Pastor Stewart, we just want to wish you happy, happy holidays. holidays.